guys welcome back to another vlog if you're new here my name is Laura I live in New York City and I make lifestyle vlogs so make sure to subscribe before you go and welcome back it is Wednesday I'm heading to the gym right now I just put this I'll show you I put this hair oil in my hair it's called What is going on with this? I don't know what's going on with the colors on my thing. I gotta fix that. But it's this Niel hair oil, scalp oil. So I'm gonna come home and wash my hair after the gym, but I thought it would be good to have it in while I'm working out. Work smarter, not harder. Okay, we're much better now. <laughs> I don't know what the heck that was, but anyways, let's go to the gym and get this day going.
So I have a busy day. Let's try. Their coffee is just like weak. So weak. It's not horrible. Probably wouldn't get it again. Hello you guys, I'm back home from the gym and grocery shopping and Panera. And if you're wondering why did you go to Panera, like that's so random. It's definitely not my preferred place to go for coffee. I don't actually like it. The only reason I went is because my dad gave me a gift card. So I'm just trying to use it and trying like different things on their menu. And this is the second coffee that I got from there and it's just like very disappointing. So I'm gonna add like my own cold brew and make it better. But I figured I would show you guys what I picked up from Whole Foods. Just a midweek restock because I don't really have any plans for like dinner tonight. So I figured I would get some things. So I got some broccoli. I'm going to make... So I'm going to make these teriyaki chicken thighs with chicken thighs in... I think I'm going to do it. I need to take these out. I feel like when I have my AirPods in, I like can't hear. I'm gonna make chicken thighs in my crock pot, I think. It just might be easier. And then I'm gonna do some jasmine rice, make like a nice little bowl. So that's for dinner tonight. And then I stocked up on my Greek yogurt. I am always buying this, <laughs> it's no surprise. I got some cannellini beans because I want to make a arugula salad with beans and like a lemon dressing. I just, it sounded good at the time. So I also picked up some mangoes. I've been loving putting these on my yogurt bowls. It's really good. They're so refreshing and tasty. I got some frozen blueberries if I want to make a smoothie at any point this week. And then I got some avocados. Honestly, I've just been eating these with salt, pepper, and olive oil, and it's so good and satisfying, and I'm enjoying the simplicity of it. And then I got some bananas. I like to just eat these when I'm working from home. It's a quick, easy snack, especially like when I'm starving. I got some blueberries for my greek yogurt bowls raspberries for my greek yogurt bowls and here's the teriyaki sauce this is just the whole foods brand and then i got a chobani flip because i actually have been eating cookie dough after dinner each night this week because i don't know why actually i can't really give you an explanation but i forced myself to put it in the freezer so that i don't eat it after dinner every night i bought like a sleeve of like you know cookie dough and i've just been stacking on that for dessert and i'm like no you shouldn't be doing that you should probably be eating something a little healthier <laughs> especially because i'm going to florida next week i booked a trip to florida because i just feel like i need to get out of the city i need to reset and it's just gonna be like a kickoff to summer for me. And I wanna go and spend some time with my dad and my stepmom. So yeah, it'll be nice to go down there, spend some time with family. I need to make this a lot better and put these groceries away. Today, I'm just obviously working all day. And then at 4.30, I have an appointment at this Botox place called Peachy, if you guys are not familiar. It's a Botox place that has multiple locations throughout the city and I've heard really good things and they actually reached out to me and they wanted to give me a complimentary session for exchange for two TikToks and I was like, that's amazing because I literally had an appointment this coming weekend to get my Botox touched up before I go to Florida, which is like, it's crazy that it worked out like that. It was so random but I am so grateful. It's really cool when I get places like that reaching out to me and wanting to work together, and I couldn't say no to that, you know? <laughs> so. And obviously also, like, it's a reputable place because I'm not just gonna go to any old med spa. 
you guys can see through my videos like I talk a lot with emotion and I don't want to completely lose that but I do think that like sometimes I just need a little bit of preventative so yeah I'm going there at 4 30 that's down in NoHo so that's my day. Also going to try to film as many TikToks today as I can in between my meetings. So I just wanna make sure that I have everything filmed and ready to go so that I can post it while I'm in Florida and not have to worry about like having to film there. And might get my suitcase down and maybe we'll pack together. I don't know if that'll be this vlog or the next one, but. much better now. talk about what I took this morning. This is a Magic Mind shot. I have shared these on my channel before, but basically it's a productivity shot. You take it in the morning alongside your caffeine. So like you saw, I had it with my coffee and the focus that you get from this is outrageous the base of this is matcha so it's really good for focus and energy there's also some adaptogens in here and other vitamins what i love about these is there are so many different ingredients in here packed into this little shot so for instance there's matcha ashwagandha rhodiola echinacea lion's mane cordyceps vitamin b3 b12 d3 and turmeric so the combination of all those things it helps with inflammation it helps with focus it helps with anxiety so i absolutely love taking these i do notice the days that i take these my focus is just on another level and i just feel like clear-headed it's not like an anxious feeling that i get at all so i highly recommend you guys try these out if you're interested i will leave all the details down below in the description box along with a coupon code so you can get money off of your first order yeah <laughs> And I love that I can drink this alongside my coffee in the morning and still get the boost from my coffee, but this just gives me an extra push that I need, especially on a busy day like today when I have a lot on my to-do list, so love. It's lunchtime. I want to share with you guys this new like salad that I've been loving. It's honestly like kind of like a snack, but I found it on TikTok and I wanted to share in case maybe you're not on TikTok or maybe you missed this one. So it's like a cucumber and pepper salad. So just get some mini peppers, mini cucumbers. I just got those from Target. I also picked up this ginger dressing from Target, which is also incredible. It's delicious. Some rice vinegar, the chili crunch from Trader Joe's, and then everything but the bagel seasoning. So I kind of want to make a big portion of this. I'm just gonna make it in this Tupperware because I don't care. Okay, so I'm freezing, but I guess I should put this on because I'm just... <laughs> so all you're gonna do is slice the peppers into little rings. These are so pretty. care about the seeds so we have the peppers there and then you're going to slice the cucumbers super small So 
here is the salad so pretty and colorful i just drizzle some rice vinegar honestly like it doesn't matter okay and then I would say like a tablespoon of this ginger dressing. Maybe a little more just because. Okay, we'll say two tablespoons. I don't know, I don't really measure when I do stuff like this. And then one tablespoon. I can never open this. Oh my God. Come on, I can't do that. All right, here we go. We're gonna do one tablespoon of the chili crunch. mix that up and then a generous seasoning of the everything bagel seasoning all right let's show you guys I'm bringing this over to my windowsill so you can really see but look at how beautiful this is it's such a good snack and it's so healthy I'm loving this recently okay Let's do a taste test. I also like to eat it with a spoon. It's just so colorful. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's so good. You guys have to try this one. It's so easy. money onto my card the pin pad's not working so as you guys saw I just did my laundry and the pin machine wasn't working for me to add money onto my laundry card so I put my clothes in the washing machine and now I have to hang dry them because I only have $2 left on my pin card and a load of laundry is like $3.75 I think. Just another day also, these are all the clothes for a TikTok that I have to film that I'm not in the mood to film. Anyway, that's the update for now. As I'm hang drying all of these, I was just thinking to myself, a couple months ago, if this happened, I would have let it literally ruin my whole day. <laughs> but like a minor inconvenience would literally irritate me beyond belief. And it's just like, yeah, it's frustrating, but I have to deal with it. <laughs> and yeah, I don't know, it's just interesting. Just one thing I'm practicing is just the things that I do have control over are running smoothly and if I don't have control over it, I can't let it bother me. Pretty good, right? <laughs> I mean, a lot of these clothes I would hang dry anyway. I mean, not my underwear and stuff obviously, but like the workout stuff, yes. But I feel like I, w I wish I had another drying rack because then it wouldn't be an issue, but whatever. Moral of the story is I can't let tiny inconveniences just ruin my day. And it goes back to what I said in my last vlog is like, I am the only person that can make me happy. Like you have total control over your mind and your mood. And small inconveniences cannot dictate that or change my mood. I'm making a Greek yogurt bowl right now because I haven't eaten like anything with protein in it yet today. 
but one other thing I'll say about that whole situation that just happened is I know I'm very privileged to have that problem. I don't want that to get misconstrued and I don't want it to come off that like I'm crying about the smallest inconveniences because I know it's not a big deal. I'm just sharing literally my entire day with you all. It's a basic one today. Simple. I'm here at Peachy. I had to rush here, but I'm icing. <laughs> done I didn't film but then I was like I don't know if you guys really want to see needles anyway but pretty good back home I'm turning my AC on for the first time of the year and it's only April um, I went to, wait, it's not even on, it's on fan mode. <laughs> oh, mode. Cool. Okay, so I ended up returning stuff at H&M because I made an online purchase and the stuff didn't fit me. So, of course, you guys know me. It's never just a return. And I really was not planning on buying anything. But I was going upstairs and looking at all of their accessories and stuff. <sighs> and I saw a few things. So I picked up this little brown tank top. I thought it might be nice to go with the pants that I bought online. They are these beige pants and I actually own them from H&M in black. And I got them tailored to fit me like perfectly. So I just really like these because they can be dressed up or down and like they're super light and great for summer. And I love that I can wear these to work and on the weekends and it's not like dressy like work pants, but I don't know, they're really great. So I thought this would be a cute outfit. I don't know. Normally I don't like these type of scoop neck lines on me, but I saw it when I was checking out, I was like, I'm gonna buy that. And the shirt I'm wearing now, I rave about these little t-shirts, they're from H&M. And I was like, while I'm here, I should see if they have any in stock. It's kind of old. And I saw that they have my favorite one. So obviously I picked it up to have a backup. It's just so great. It's like this Heather Gray. You can't go wrong. So those were good purchases. And then I didn't want to buy anything for this Florida trip, but when I was in there, I was like, oh my God, this is so cute over a bathing suit. So I got this like striped button down. And what I love about this is like the fit of it. The sleeves are really baggy and it just looked really nice on. So I just like, I couldn't say no. Love. And then when I was walking out, I saw they had matching shorts, which I don't know about these. I didn't even try them on, but that might be a little bit like too much. So we'll see about that. I have to try them on and see if I like them. And then to go with that, I bought these Bermuda shorts. They're like longer and they're a little bit baggy on me, which I really like. I thought that with like a white bathing suit and then this like opened on top would be so so cute and then also I bought another <laughs> striped shirt it's like a short sleeve style again I thought with these shorts just so cute and summery and I don't have anything like this in my closet so I was like just get it and then the last thing are these shorts which I'll bring and I like these because they're great for traveling. I also wear these to bed if I want to. I just love these because I can also wear them when I'm working from home. They're so comfy. I love this material that H&M has. It's like a, I don't know what this is called, but so soft. These are the kind of shorts that get better 
the more you wash them and I love gray so that's my little H&M haul I can't believe this weather it's 82 degrees out right now like my armpits are sweating <laughs> but yeah the Botox went well so normally I get it's called just Botox and today she told me to go with Xeomin or something x-e-o-m-i-n so I was like sure we'll try it and then she was like going through the whole rundown of everything and she's like oh there's a chance that like you could have the eyelid droop because I guess they just have to say that to be cautious and to verbally just say that she's like I've never had it happen but there is a possibility obviously you're taking that risk and chance when you get Botox but so at this peachy place it was their brand new location in NoHo and they only do this muscle your forehead and the crow's feet they won't do anywhere else and it's just like a flat cost so I told her to focus more on the crow's feet because I'm very expressive when I talk so I notice like the lines are really heavy there but other than that she was saying like you don't really need much in your forehead because there's no static lines there and I told her I was like I don't want to be a frozen face like I don't want to have like a heavy head because I've gotten Botox in the past where it was too much and it felt like my head was heavy and I literally felt like Frankenstein and I hated it so I just like wanted to focus on this area and just get a little bit in here just to be preventative but I obviously still want to have movement in my face and be able to do some expression so yeah it was really good everyone that worked there was like so friendly which always just makes the experience that much better so now it is seven o'clock which is crazy because it's still so light out I'm just absolutely loving the Sun setting later I have to go flip my laundry that I hung up earlier because I bet like only half of it's dried at this point so they need to be flipped. I think I'm gonna make the chicken thighs that I bought today and then do them in a cast iron skillet though because I didn't have time to put them in the crock pot. But if not, I'm gonna make pasta because that's what I have all the time. I just don't know if I feel like cooking a full dinner because it is seven o'clock, but we'll see. I will let you guys know what ends up happening. I feel like I should be outside again because the weather's so nice, you know, but I always feel guilty when I'm not like taking it all in, you know, but yeah, that's it. I'm going to try these shorts on now. Okay. Here's the shorts. Honestly, they're a little tighter than I would have liked. I thought they were going to be a little bit baggier. I had to get an extra small because they didn't have any smalls. Yeah too tight they almost look like boxers that a guy would wear <laughs> here is the other shirt that I was unsure about I actually like the way this looks together I have to get these taken in but this is cute I'm liking the brown tones recently so yeah pretty cute All right guys, here is my dinner. This was so easy to make. I just love using the cast iron skillet. So I have my asparagus, some jasmine rice, and then the chicken breasts. And all I did was put that teriyaki sauce from Whole Foods on there. I'm gonna add some sesame seeds and that's it. And now I'm gonna watch my housewives. I had to come on here and tell you guys, this is like the best meal I've made in a while. I just took a bite of the chicken. I'm very impressed. And this jasmine rice comes out so good. I love when I make like a really good meal for myself. It's so much more satisfying when you eat it. All right, so I just ate my Yasso Pops that I eat every single night, the cookie dough flavor. And I'm making tea right now, but I think that's going to conclude today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, please comment either the 
cucumber or pepper emoji because that, that salad that I made today, oh, so good. I will probably see you guys on Friday when I start my next weekend vlog. So I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching. Love you. Bye.